Whereas on the section 1091 of the value added tax, Act Cap 15.4 to the Act, it is provided that the Minister of Finance may, by order published in the Gazette, amend the schedules to the Act. And whereas it first, it first provided on the section 102, 1092 of the Act, that an order made pursuant on the section 1091 of the Act is subject to an affirmative resolution of Parliament except where the amendment is, in, is to common, is to customs tariffs, headings only. And whereas the Minister of Finance seeks approval of the draft value added tax amendment of Schedule 3, Number 5 order, to amend Schedule 3 of the Act by an affirmative resolution of Parliament to exempt imports of personal items, food, clothing, toys, and other household cons consumables contained in barrels, for the period commencing from the 1st of November 2020, 2024 and terminating on the 28th of February 2025. Imports of toys, foods, and care packages by elected parliamentarians for the period commencing from the 1st of November 2024 and terminating on the 28th of February 2025. Be it resolved that Parliament by affirming resolution approves a draft value added tax amendment of Schedule 3 number five order, which amends Schedule 3 of the Act to exempt imports of personal items, food, clothing, toys, and other household consumables contained in barrels for the period commencing from 1st of November 2024 and terminating on 28th of January of February 2025. Exempt imports of toys, food supplies, and care packages by elected parliamentarians for the period commencing from the 1st of November 2024 and terminating on the 25th of February 2025. Mr. Speaker, this is just a simple resolution, Mr. Speaker. We know during the Christmas season, parliamentarians and elected representatives, they bring in toys, they bring in toys and gifts and signs and body care items for the constituents, Mr. Speaker. This just allows them to build it in, and we can wave the fat on these items, Mr. Speaker, so that they can be shared among constituents. I don't think there's much to debate on that, Mr. Speaker, and I urge members to support it.